it going everyone? Uh, today I told you I was gonna uh, do a separate video on this tote full of games that I bought that I paid hundred and thirty dollars for at the auction. We're gonna go through this and see uh, how I did. I have some people say oh you did alright and other people said that uh, I paid too much for it. So we're gonna go through it and find out how I did. And I have this little box here that I bought down at the auction, down at the auction, down at the market. Uh, gal come in and asked me if I wanted these and how much I'd give her for them. So I just kind of glanced through them. There was uh, some good GameCube in there. So I gave her 30 bucks for that box as well. So we're going to go through that box and see how I did on that one and see which one's better. See if, I, if I'm going to make any money on this or if I'm going to lose money. That one I know I'll make money. This one, eh, we're going to find out. So let me get you set up and then we'll get these out and see and start pricing them and see how I did and taking a look at the condition of them. Okay, first thing we'll do is we'll pull them out and get them separated into each genre and see what's actually in here. Uh, you can't see me getting in the tote, but this is all from this tote. And I might get in your way. Okay, we got Xbox, uh, Motor, Forenza, uh, Grand Theft for... Which one is that? Grand Theft, Theft Vice City for Xbox, Original Halo, Mad Dash, Tetris World, and Star Wars Clone War. This is the this is the game that came with every uh, new Xbox system that you bought. You got this double game. You got the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, and Tetris Worlds. That was with when you bought it new. GameCube Star Fox Adventures. Sonic Heroes Xbox. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Xbox. PlayStation 2 Racing 3. And Spyros Enter the Dragonfly GameCube. Grand Theft Auto, this is the box collection, Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, so so far we have Vice City, Vice City and Auto 3. Okay, Pinkman, Cube, Star Fox Assault, Cube, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 360, Modern Warfare 2 360, and there's the third one. Oh, nope. That's another Vice's City for Xbox. So far, I'm not looking. It's not looking very good. Serious Sam, Xbox. Limited edition hard. Halo 2. Xbox, GameCube, Tetris World, Ghost, 360, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, Xbox, Haven, PlayStation 2, Two Towers, Xbox, like I said, so far it's not looking good, Resident Evil, GameCube, UFC Training 360, another Halo, Xbox, and FIFA Soccer 2002 GameCube.
about ready to give us this tote back. GameCube, Pac-Man versus Pac-Man World 2. GameCube. Enter the Matrix. GameCube. Medal of Honor, Frontier, Xbox. FIFA, 2004, Cube. I better start getting better. PlayStation 2, 007 Nightfire. Black Ops 2, 360. Bloodwake, Xbox, Grand Theft Auto V, 360, Redbox, <laughs> Spider-Man 2, Xbox, Super Smash Brothers Melee, GameCube, now there's, there's one that's decent, Let's see what's in Redbox. Ghost Protocol, Mission Impossible, movie. Mario Party 5, GameCube, not in the original case. Good game, be better if it was in the original case. Sonic Mega Collection, GameCube. Zomba Fitness 360 Mario Kart Double Dash GameCube another good one and Worms Blast GameCube covers a little weird we'll get it fixed up another red box Ghost Recon Future Soldier Xbox 360 in a red box case. Uh, Rainbow Six Lockdown Xbox. Original Black Ops 360 and Connect Adventures 360. Seven Nightfire Xbox and another red box with nothing in it. Throw that out. And if I'm not mistaken, this is for. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Los Santos and Blaine County. Too bad they destroyed it. I'll see if I can't flatten it out, but the, the map sure helps if it's in there with everything. And I got some loose games here, or loose discs, I should say, and we'll see what they are. Important Things with Dimitri Martin. And a little stack of crap here. Let's see what's on here. Looks like movies. Any given Sunday. Face off. Who knows? Uh, risky business. Uh, man manufactured by IMS. Multimedia disc. There you go. Elf. Let me get you up a little higher. Here. So we can see what the hell's on this pile. This is going to be mainly crap. High fidelity. I thought I was kind of hoping they were games. I didn't look at it real good. Half baked. I hate these double-sided discs. They're a pain in the butt to clean. Murder at sixteen hundred. 
Green Street Hooligans, that's a good movie. Ghostbusters 2. Ew. With some nasty sh on it. Ghostbusters 2. That's a good movie. Iron Man. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. First one. That's a good one. I, I Robot with Willard Smith. That's it. Movies we really don't give a two shits and a giggle about. But the games are what we're really going to be checking on to see how they are. Because like I said, so far, it's going to be awful close to what I paid for it and what I'm going to get out of these. I don't see anything really high dollar in here whatsoever. Okay. And now, first one we'll do is Worm Blast. See we have Worm Bass Blast by GameCube. Now I have to get to the barcode on these. And there's a sticker on the case. Oh, where you at? There you are. Okay. Helps if you if you're in the bright place. Come on. Makes it hard to scan when they're wrinkled. There we are. And we scan at worm blast. Uh, you can see loose is six dollars and fifty nine cents. Complete is twelve ninety nine. Complete meaning we have our we have our manual and our disc. Our disc is just a little dirty, it, but it'll clean up really well. I'll clean it up. Uh, it'll probably it would probably play fine, but I'll clean it anyway. Uh, we have our and the cover art and everything is decent. Just a little wrinkled from the way it was this is the one that was kinda ugly looking but and if we go to complete in the box sold you can see yesterday one sold for thirteen ninety seven and one sold last month for thirteen ninety nine uh... if i had my store i'd be i'd have twelve ninety nine on this but I am gonna we're gonna sell this down at the market so we're gonna put ten dollars on that one and that's worm blast write that down okay so when I go to price them I don't have to go through all this again now we'll do a we'll do an Xbox game up here get it in there scan it and there's 007 Nightfire uh, loose meaning just game would be 540 549 and complete with manual this has the manual Let's see manual disc a little scratched up but it'll buff so that's complete so complete price would be nine dollars and nineteen cents <laughs> well you can see uh, let's see when did one so uh, the seventh of this month July of 2021 one sold for ten dollars and ninety nine cents and back in June, one sold for six dollars and forty-seven cents. So nine dollars. So what we're going to do is on this one, we will probably put seven dollars on that one. Or double seven. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm writing this down so I so when I go to price these I don't have to look them all up again. 
Okay, now it was an Xbox game. Same thing, we'll do the same thing with with this PlayStation 2 game. We have a really decent PlayStation 2 game. Haven Call of the King. Okay, barcode's covered up with a sticker. So we will. Okay, Haven. Loose. Six three sixty nine complete seven thirty nine. This one isn't complete. We're missing the manual. So we'll put five bucks on that one. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I have to go through every one of these games, and I think this would it would take too long if I was to. God busy out there today it would be it would take too long for me to go through with these on camera so what I'm gonna do is I will go through all these games and write them down and then we'll total it up and see how I did on that that tote what's left in the tote is the balance the Wii balance board I don't know how many of them I've thrown in a dumpster, yeah, but now I guess they're, oh, hey, there you go. I guess now people want them again. That was in the bottom. What are they? Oh, I can't, re oh, there we go, 45 auto. There's two 45 autos that were laying in the bottom of that tote. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'll go through and I'll check all the prices on these. And then we'll total it all up and, and see how I did. Before I do that, I will do one more. We'll do Mario Kart Double Dash. I know there's some... There's a few people that are interested in to, to see how good that game is now. Okay, here you go. You can see loose, $52.99. Complete, $61.99. Get that open. And let's see, that's advertisement. And there's the manual. Yep, everything's in this one. This one is complete. So, and let's take a look at the disc, which isn't Mario. <laughs> See what that says? Mario Double Dash 6199. Here's the disc that's in it. Harry Potter. Quidditch. World Cup. So, automatically, there was a big chunk of money right there that we just lost. Unless we end up finding it somewhere else, but I doubt if we will. There's Mario Party 5. Loose, and the disc is junk. Can see the see it separating. You can see how the, the disc is separating from the there, there we go, right there. So there's another big chunk of money. Because Mario Party 5 is usually good. Let's see what we got here and we'll see how much we're missing out on
จังหวะอ่านช่วยเฮดแล็ปท็อปส์โอเคพีพีพาวเกมคิวThe sights goofed up. It's yeah, I can't get on the. Okay. Anyway, loose was sixty eight sixty one. Complete was eighty four ninety nine. So you can see right there, we just lost another eighty bucks. Junk. So I'll go through them and we'll see what else uh, we got screwed on on this lot. All right, now we got lucky. Spyro, Enter the Dragon. Open that up and you see what's in it. Mario Kart Double Dash. So it goes in there, but but we're still we still didn't get Spyro. Those are the ones. That stack right there are the ones that are either the disc is junk or empty case. So now we have Mario Kart Double Dash. Books in there. Disc. Yep, disc is alright. I can clean that up. That one will be fine. Fine. And let's see, we got lucky and we made it up. Sixty-one ninety-nine for this for Mario Double Dash, and I will put fifty-five on that game, just so there's a little bit of room. If somebody's buying it to resell, or I just have a little better chance of selling it quicker. And then we only have one more GameCube game left, and that's Star Fox Adventures. We'll go ahead and take a peek at it before we scan it. Yep, there's Star Fox is in there, manuals in there. Disc is dirty. Looks like somebody pulled it out of a yak's ass, but it will clean up. We'll scan it. $39.99 complete. So I will put 35 on it. Well, I think the finding Mario Kart has saved us because I hadn't found I didn't find anything worth a whole hell of a lot except for Super Smash Brothers Melee. It was in there. Okay. Uh, I'm just making a note of the high priced games so we can so I can show you what I had found through this mess alright now let me finish up all I have left is I have a couple PS2's and some Xbox 360's to do we'll do those up and tell you what this is really sad Grand Theft Auto 5 I remember when I was selling that new out of the store for $59.99. Now it's down to $7.29. 
one sold today on eBay for $4.99. That is really sad. Man, the, the 360 games just are not holding their value whatsoever. The only one that's worth anything so far for 10 bucks is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And the only reason that one is still kind of popular is because it has zombies and multiplaying campaign. But God, it's, it's really sad what how much these games have dropped, the 360 games and the, the GameCube games have just gone through the roof because of Nintendo and anything with Mario in it is is the cat's meow anymore. Alright, I have four more games here to finish up and, and and then we'll take a look and see what we got. Now in the now on these games, let's see, Xbox. The original Xbox, the only thing of note that was worth anything was uh, Sonic Heroes which was $18. The rest of them are all common games, you know, anywhere from 5 to maybe $10. GameCube is where your money's at. GameCube alone, we have $273 just in GameCube games. Super Smash Bros. Melee was $55. Pac-Man vs. Pac- and Pac-Man World 2 was 18. Resident Evil's 25. Star Fox Assault, $45. Mario Kart Double Dash, $55. And Star Fox Adventures was 35. So you can see, if you can get a hold of uh, GameCube games, those are worth a hell of a lot more than, than, than normally any of the other games. There's some really good games in your 64, and your Super Nintendo. Let's see, 64 is when Mario 3D came out and also uh, Mario Kart is, uh, let's see, Mario Kart yeah, N64 is when Mario Kart started. So you can see that, you know, any of the older Nintendo games that have Mario in the title, you know it's going to be pretty good. There's a couple of them that are kind of duds. Like I think it might be either Mario Golf or Mario Baseball. Any of those are, they're, you know, they're okay. But any of the Mario Parties, if you can get Mario Parties. Mario Party started in N64 as well. And with Mario Part, Mario, ugh, Mario Party, one, two, and three, don't quote me on that, but I'm almost positive it's three. It goes to three. It might be just one and two, and then the rest of them are in the cube, and then into the, the Wii Wii. Okay, what else did we find? Oh, the Quidditch. That was uh, the loose game that was in, uh, that we found in, Sp or not in Spyro, but Mario Kart Double Dash, and then Double Dash was in Spyro. So we got Double Dash and Double Dash and, and there was n nothing for Spyro. So we ended up with a loose disc Quidditch World Cup, which loose is worth six bucks. Which isn't bad, actually, if you stop and think about it, where some of these games that are complete, like FIFA, those are only worth about five bucks. Any sports games normally are pretty, pretty crappy. You know, especially when it comes to Madden, you know, Madden started with uh, PlayStation 2. And no, it didn't. It started in original PlayStation. Sorry about that. And every year they came out with a new one, so that made last year's worth next to nothing because everybody's got to have the new one. Not too many people want to play the old Madden games. Uh, let's see, we found a, a memory card. I get five bucks a piece out of these memory cards for Nintendo. Because in um, the Wii system, the Wii Wii system, uh, the original one with the trap doors on the top will play your GameCube games. And that, you need that memory card so you can play your games. And it will also play the, 
it'll also you can also use your original GameCube controllers on that Wii Wii. Let's see what else did we find? Uh, we found two 45 autos and two nine millimeter down in that tote, and we found an iPhone speaker. How do I know it's an iPhone speaker? Because I used to repair cell phones. So my hands got too shaky. Now I can't do it anymore. So I know what that is. Uh, now the only thing we have left to take a look at is we have our little green satchel here. Um, the only thing to really note that's in here that's worth a tinker's dam. Uh, let's see, there's a aftermarket GameCube controller and then there's an aftermarket Xbox controller, but we have our cordless WaveBird controllers in here. But there's only one problem. There's only one. Where'd you go? There's only one receiver. So we only have one. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have another one buried somewhere. So let's, uh, we can take one good look here. Well, one good look. We can take a quick look here. Let's see. Uh, let's go with game. Cube. Well, let's make that one word then. Game. Cube. Controller. And we'll see what we get. Okay, should be WaveBird. Oop, that's all the colors. Let's see if we... There's WaveBird. wireless controller. Yeah. So you can see we can that that's pretty steep if you ask me. But complete sold on eBay. Uh, but that was back in June for $79.99. So I think we could probably add 40 bucks for that. So we're up to, let's see, we'll go with 40, 40 bucks for the, for the game, for the wave bird, uh, let's see, five for the um, memory card, and the rest of the stuff in that bag. Uh, if I can find the other one, we'll have another 40, but we're not going to count that because, just because, we'll just say I don't have one. And we'll throw that in our uh, parts box until we find one. So we're just going to say that we don't have that one. That one's going to be missing. Uh, the other two controllers, uh, I usually get five bucks a piece for aftermarket controllers. So what do we have? Uh, 40, 55, another 55 bucks onto this. Uh, two, four, nine. So we're up to almost $500 is what we'll make out of this tote when we're done. Hope everybody's happy. <laughs> I'm saying that to people that, that watch my videos and also are subscribed to my channel. And also I see them at the auction. So, you, you know, if you wanted it, you should have bid a little higher. That's <laughs> uh, it's not too bad. The problem is, is you're going to sit on a lot of this stuff for quite a while before you sell it. I don't sell online. I used to, but it's such a big pain in the butt anymore. I don't sell online. This is the stack here of everything that didn't have discs or had bad discs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten. We had ten games out of this bunch that there was no discs, or we had a had a junk disc. 
So that's a pretty good return. Okay, now we finished up this big tote, and we'll go through that little tote a little quicker, because I think there was a lot of people that really wanted to see what this, what was in this big tote. And uh, but I'll tell you what, you're going to be if you turn it off now, you're going to miss out on another really good box that I bought for thirty bucks. Now I got to take all those over, over there, and start cleaning games. Okay, this little box that I paid thirty dollars for down at the down at the market. There's a whole bunch of PlayStation games in there, but I wasn't really interested in those because they're not really worth a whole hell of a lot. It was the GameCube games I was interested in. But the PlayStation games we have NASCAR Racing, F1 2000, Driver, RC Chopper, Duke Nukem Total Meltdown. Drag Racing, Test Drive, Off-Road 3, that's a pretty good game to play. Rescue Copper, uh, Warzone, WWF, Demolition Racer, that's another good game to play. Uh, Aces of the Air, Gran Turismo, all-time favorite of a lot of people. The Dukes of Hazard, Racing for Home. Tomb Raider. Now there's one that might be worth a little bit. Uh, Road Rash, Jailbreak. Uh, yee. Been a while since I've looked this one up. That one might be alright too. NASCAR 2001 and Metal Gear. Okay, and the other games, these are the ones that are worth a little bit more than, than those. Uh, we have Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles. And this is for the, these two are for the Wii. Resident Evil, Fur. Then you have the original Resident Evil, Frogger Beyond, Resident Evil 4, Internal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, Resident Evil Zero, Pinkman, Pinkman 2, Super Monkey Ball, another Resident Evil 4, and Gauntlet. Dark Legacy. So let me, we'll take a look at these ones and I'll get them scanned and we'll see what the hell they're worth. Uh, first one, I'll do one in case somebody's tuning in late and uh, kind of skipped what I was doing. I'll go with uh, Dark Legacy Gauntlet. See our disc is here. In good condition, just needs cleaned up a little bit. We got our manual. Emmanuel is in there. These things are really dirty. I don't know where the hell they've been sitting. I'm going to scan it. And you can see. Complete $86.99. We've got one game here that pays for the box completely and makes us money. So that that's not too bad of a, a buy there, is it? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'll write this down. Let's see, 86. We'll go. We'll, they sold one on eBay for $70 in, on the 8th of... July. So 70 bucks, 86.99. I think I'll do the same. I think I'll I'll just price this at 70 bucks. And we'll hope that somebody wants to buy it and try and make some money or we find somebody that is really looking for that game. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and I'll price all of these and then we'll come back and see what these ones were worth. And in our other games, see we have Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles and the two Wii games. I already went through these, didn't I? Resident Evil. Resident Evil, Frogger Beyond, Resident Evil, again, Eternal Darkness, 
Resident Evil Zero, Pinkman, Pinkman 2, Super Monkey Ball, another Resident Evil, and Gauntlet, Dark Legacies. Alright, this Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Not Requiem, Requiem. Uh, you can see at one time they were selling it for $46.99. And, oh shit, I wanted to show this to you, and this guy's a, it's complete. Not a sticker on the dang barcode. On, uh, get at this one-handed. That should be enough. Wrong barcode. There we go. Okay. Loose. Seventy-three ninety-nine, complete. Ninety-nine ninety-nine. If you had a brand new copy, it would have been two hundred and sixty dollars and ninety-nine cents. If somebody comes up to you and asks you if you wanted to buy one to to resell, you could pay forty bucks for it. But let's see. Uh, let's. Yesterday on eBay, July twelfth. Somebody paid $138 for that game. So, you know, say to yourself, well, what, are you, what am I going to put on it? Well, this one, I want the money out of this one because I know this game. I know this game's hard to find. I have it priced. I'm going to price it at $100. And Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation. I remember when I had these on the shelf for $4.99. Now they're selling for $24.99. So I'm going to put 20 bucks on it. How things have changed. I'll tell you, some of these games going up, other ones uh, going in the toilet. Especially like that Grand Theft Auto V. Man, that was really surprising that that thing's only worth about seven dollars. All right, let me finish these up and then we'll get a total and see what we got out of that little box. Okay, out of the box. Uh, let's see the Game Cubes came to three forty-eight. PS two, PS Playstations came to one thirty-seven. The accessories were twenty-five. That's uh, two, two guns for the Wii, uh, a switch module, and one aftermarket con uh, GameCube controller. For a grand total of $510 is what we'll have out of that box that we paid only $30 for. So let's see, out of the big tote... We ended up with 492 out of everything out of the big tote and 510 giving us a grand total of $1,002 out of those two purchases. And let's see, a note uh, the out of the PlayStations, the only two that were really any good was Duke Nukem. Total Meltdown, $18, and Metal Gear. Solid for $20. Now in the GameCube games, Gauntlet is $70. Pinkman 2 is $70. Pinkman is 45 and Eternal Darkness Sanity of Requiem is $100.
those are the four really good ones. There, uh, the, the rest of them, you know, there's there's some 20, 25s in there. Uh, a couple crappy ones. There's an eight dollar. That was the eight dollar and ten dollar were the two Wii Wii games. The rest of them, ten dollars was the lowest, and I think that was one of the res those two are the Resident Evils. Uh, Resident Evil Four, not that one. Yeah, Resident Evil Four. Both of those were only ten bucks. Now, like I said, when I price these, I'm priced lower than what the what they're telling you on here. Like NASCAR, uh, they said you should get like six dollars and twenty cents. But see, the last one was sold on the third of July for nine dollars on eBay. But I only put four dollars on mine just because I want to sell it. So you can see, you can probably add another 20-25% to my pricing to actually get, if you were to get the exact amount that uh, they're at telling you to get. eBay, eBay's a little different. There's, I don't know, stuff sells different on there. It's like the auction. Uh, you could have uh, those chicken in the nest I showed you anyway uh, there were some in the front room uh, they were going for $25 each the ones in the back room same thing same colors and all that and they were selling for nine dollars just all all depends on where you're selling and who knows maybe somewhere down the line I may put some of this on eBay just to, to get some money out of it but uh, I don't have much money in either one of those, the the tote or the or the box. I only have $160 in those two, so I I can sit on them. I sell a couple of games, and I'll be close to making my money back. So, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. <laughs> so, until next time, see ya. And now it's time to start cleaning games and cases and getting them ready to sell.